Hi guys, Cassie here from Ferdell Creation. I'm going to show you how to use a twin needle on the Baby Lux Soprano sewing machine. I have here the attachment that we're going to use to put our second spool of thread onto the machine. I have two similar threads, they've got to be similar, like two polyesters, two cottons, etc. I have my twin needle and also my presser foot J. So we're going to open the cover, we're going to place our attachment right where the bobbin goes when you wind the bobbin and we're going to pull this down. You're going to be replacing your needle so you need your screwdriver handy. So take your current needle out and your twin needle is going to go in with your flat part facing the back. Like so. I'm just going to turn it with my fingers and then I'm going to do it with my screwdriver just to tighten it just a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to start threading my machine for the left side of the needle first. So we just follow the guidelines, number one, number two, all the way down to number three, and four, bearing light left to catch the guide and down. So we're going to be threading through the left side needle first and just an FYI you're not going to be able to use your automatic threader because this is now a twin needle. You will run a risk of probably causing damage to your machine so you thread this by hand. Now I'm going to put my second thread up and I'm going to put And I'm just going to follow the same path. Now we have both threads threaded and I'm going to attach press a foot J onto my machine like so and then we're just going to feed the threads through this hole and draw them threads to the back. Now before we can start, Baby Lock Soprano wants you to change a couple of the menu settings and in order to get into the menu you're going to click onto this button here and we're going to scroll down to where it says twin needle because we want to turn it on. Like so. And then just to get out of this menu setting, we have to click back. In your instruction manual, it will tell you where you can use a twin needle. Right here it says twin needle, and everywhere it says OK, 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 OK is good. But anywhere it says no, don't use the twin needle. And it also tells you which foot to use, so it's telling you in almost all cases to use J. For the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to use a straight stitch middle. So I'm going to press this button and I'm just going to hit three. Um, okay. So guys when you use this option of using a twin needle you're not going to be able to pivot because obviously you've got two needles now instead of one so if you want to move the fabric once it starts you're going to have to lift your presser foot up take the threads out 
and move it manually. So don't try to pivot. So here we go. I have a little bit of scrap fabric here, which matches my nails perfectly. I'm gonna drop my presser foot and I'm gonna start sewing. two perfectly straight lines and this is what it looks like on the reverse this is going to be a great stitch to do for decorative or for hemming it's also really good if you've got knit fabrics so give it a try if you found this video useful, please hit subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.